This is Rita from The Scene Online, and this is an introduction to where we left off from how to manage your group under options here. We're going to go to, to the tools in here, and um, we're going to show you what Manage Pages is all about. We talked about editing your group. Uh, today we'll be talking about managing your pages. Um, this setting here we mentioned if you click on that, it's just if you want to have another person uh, manage your group for you if you're too busy and you need someone to put down the event dates um, you can have or put in a request for that and we'll we will set it up so someone else can manage it for you if you click on invite um, this box will pop up you'll put in the email address of all the people or your friends that you want to have uh, join your group and maybe post pictures or dates and events of things in the community and then you would add your message like, you know, looking forward to your photo posting or um, information about the upcoming events if you're using it for uh, other members uh, to come and post comments and they're not managing it. But you do have the options in here to do these things. And then if you um, click on the message settings, right now it's automatically defaulted to subscribe to group members. So every time a group member posts a comment there, uh, you will get an email. If you don't want to have the email sent to you and you're not monitoring what they're posting, then you could just uncheck that box. But um, if you want to monitor what they're doing, you just make sure that that box is checked and then you say OK and you'll receive an email anytime somebody uh, posts anything within your group. So now let's talk about managing your pages. Managing your pages um, is just going to be uh, for you to, if you want to add a page in here, right now you have a home page, manage page form, um, you'll be able to move these things around. So let's view it and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Right now we have a home page, a members page, and a form. So this is the description that you put in. If you click on your members page, um, this is uh, what your members page is looking at right now. If you want to move this around, I'm going to show you how to do that and then if you want to start your forum uh, you'll just go ahead and start your forum here you have the option of clicking here if you do want to start a forum within your group you would put whatever um, the name of the discussion is going to be um, for now we'll just put an example and actually I'm spelling example wrong so if you don't know how to go back in there I'm going to show you how to go in here and edit it so um, once you put your information in here, you're going to say publish so that it will save it. And right now it looks like it is saved right here. So now we spelled this wrong, so when you want to edit this, okay, um, this is going to be my form. So you're going to go right here. This is where you created it, and then you're going to click on the pencil icon to actually edit it. And um, if you spelled any words wrong, you'll be able to go in there and fix that. And then in here, if you want to add any other text, and then we're just going to go down and publish it again, and say update. Okay, so this is what your forum page is starting to look like. If they click on members, um, you'll just see this, how many members, um, it's actually showing it here. Now, if you want the members you want to see how many members are showing at the top. Um, we're going to go back into managing these three pages. Um, right now, members is here. These are called widgets. So if you want to know how many members are actually in your group, um, it will automatically default here at the top. Um, so let's go ahead and just move this. What I did was I just moved this around. And you'll be able to move that around. If you save, it's going to show you what it actually just did. So right now, your members are showing here. Let's say you want to move it and move this to the top and have the members at the bottom. You're going to go back to Manage Pages, and we're working on your members page. So if you click on Members, it'll always tell you what page you're on right here. And then you want to maybe uh, put the members in the middle over here. I just have it set that way. This is where this was. I don't like this. I want to delete that, so I deleted it. Uh, and I'm just going to say Save. And if you view it now, this is where this is, and this is the members at the bottom. So you could always go back in here and go to the members page, and then maybe move the members you want the, 
you, you want to move the members back up to the top, you'll just have to put this over here like that. Save it. If you view it again, you'll see that the members are now there. But it'll automatically be defaulted so that your members will be showing here, and then you can just add your content there. Let's say you want to add a page. You're going to go back to um, Manage Pages, and you're going to add a page. Click on Add a Page. This box will pop up. You'll put the name of it. We'll say Photos. Maybe you have uh, an events group going on, and you want to add some photos. So um, we'll type in Photos, and we'll say Save. And if we view it, you're now going to see this link over here before where it said Forum. That's the form we just created. And then this is the photos page that we just added. So there's nothing on here. So if we go to manage pages and we want to go to our photos page. So we're going to click down here to photos page. And we're always going to add content anytime you want to add content. And you know how to put your photos in there. So we're just going to click on a picture of a cat. We're going to add it, we're going to save it, and then we'll view it. So now here's your photo page. So if you want to go back to the home page, here's your home page, your members page, you have the options of moving this around, your forum page we talked about, which you could um, start a new forum here. Um, if you need to edit this, you would just click on that. Once you click on it, here's your button here to edit, and then we talked about adding it adding a page here. Uh, you also have this tool over here if you want to uh, add maybe a little discussion on the page. And then you're going to publish it. And then once we go to your photo pages, here it is right here. If you need to edit it, this icon right here is to edit it. Let's say you don't want that there, you just want your pictures. You'll go over here and you'll delete this post. Okay, and then if you look at your photos page, you'll just have your photos here. And this has been the introduction to uh, managing your pages. And we look forward to your group's post. Thank you. You can say that 